Hi everyone and welcome to SWPL My Story and today we are joined by Spartans Cali Gibb. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm great and thanks so much for joining us today. I'm dragging you away from your work but we won't tell we won't tell the guys at Spartans that you're on speaking to me. No, thank you very much for having me. So uh, off the back of the Scottish Cup weekend there, uh, a big win for you over Glasgow women. Uh, probably a much needed win for you at Spartans. I must imagine you have regrouped a little over the over the Christmas break and uh, your aims to get yourselves up the league. But it must have been a good confidence booster to get so many goals. Yeah, I think, you know, it was very important. Um, it's a big game, obviously. Um, you know, we wanted to get through to the next round um, and we knew, we knew that, you know, to do that, we were going to have to go, we were going to have to play football. And at the end of the day, we were going to have to be clinical in front of goal, which I think we can all admit is something we've struggled with this year. Um, we've not been scoring as many goals as, as we want to have been. Um, but, you know, we, we didn't get much off, time off over Christmas. Um, and I think that ended up being being a good thing for us. You know, we're back in, um, I think we're back in the 27th. Um, and you know from there we worked hard we were in training Debbie and Paul and the rest of the staff were pushing us on um, to make sure that we were ready for the game and I think you know we turned up we were we were playing some good football and we were doing what we haven't done which was scoring goals and being clinical and it's good as well that you know it wasn't just the attackers that were scoring we had some defenders and stuff like that getting goals as well so it's always positive when it's coming from the whole team. So you are currently sitting 11th uh, in the table, which was probably a bit of a surprise to, to everyone at, at this stage of the season. However, it is still very tight. You're only a point behind when Trolls and Dundee United um, and you'll be planning like your next three, four games going forward, identifying places where you you can pick up points. But with the quality that you do have in your squad and the experience, it must be something you are going into, into it with confidence and in, in making up the points as the season goes on. Yeah, I think, you know, we're, we're disappointed in where we are. Um, we know we're, we're a team that should be finishing higher um, and we've all got expectations that, you know, we, should, we shouldn't we should be where we are in the league. But at the end of the day, we are where we are at the moment and all we can do is we, we're the only people that can rectify that and change that. So um, we, need to, we obviously need to up our performances. We need to stop dropping points against teams that are, you know, I, well, that we're lower in, than us in the table and um, stop giving, like, stupid goals away and stuff like that. So... I think we're coming together. We're starting to understand more that you know what what was going wrong, and we're starting to sort that. Um, but it's now now's the time that we need to then go um, into that split and try and get as many points before the split that we can, um, so that it gives us a better chance to finish higher up in the table. So there's been a, a big change at the at the club with Debbie stepping down, and she she's remaining at the club in the chief exec role. Uh, I know that's, that'll be something that she's really proud of having been there for so long. She's the longest serving manager in SWPL1. Um, and you've got a, a legend from the, the men's side and Jack Beasley coming coming in and he's going to be the new manager. Now, I know he's not in just yet, but um, it must be, it'll, it'll hopefully drive you on because everyone's going to have to have to prove themselves with a, with a new manager. But that coupled with, like I said, the quality and experience that you have, um, Again, that'll hopefully drive you drive you up the table. Yeah, I think you know. I think Jack coming in is going to be important for the team. I think to say we're all we're all sad that Debbie's you know decided that to step away and stuff. But then the, it's football. Things change. Um, things happen that you need to just get on with it. Um, so Jack's obviously not in at the moment, but when he does come in, um, it's everybody's playing for a position. We're all we're all wanting the same thing, which is to get three points and stuff like that. So. We we'll, we just need to come in. We need to impress him. We need to work hard, get to know him, and he'll come in and get to know us as well. Um, and hopefully, like we can all start to kind of build build from what we've had with Debbie and things like that. Um, especially on Sunday and stuff, and hope that you know we can we can work hard and get get higher up. So for you personally, you you got your yourself a brace at, at the weekend. Um, again, we've talked a lot already about confidence, but. For you personally, getting yourself in the score sheet, getting into the the positions uh, to score uh, is always a massive thing. And for me, it was always a worry if I wasn't getting the chances, I wasn't too fussed about missing them because I was there. However, um, if you weren't getting the chances, that would that was always a worry. However, I seen your goals, great team goals as well across the team on Sunday. Uh, again, that'll be something that you're looking to continue with. Yeah, I think you know it's always it's always um, nice to get a goal. Um, I think you know I love the club and I love playing 
um, for the team and stuff. So to be able to, you know, have that input into the team and help help the girls to get a result, it's it's a good feeling and it's one that you know I think scoring goals has been something that I've needed to to develop into my game. Um, so I think after last year and stuff like that, I was obviously out quite a bit with injury and stuff. So I think it's good to come back and start to get that kind of momentum now that I'm back and I've been playing playing a lot. I've I've scored a few now, so it's just trying to keep that going and try and get some assists and help the team out as much as I possibly can by, as you say, getting into the positions to to get a goal scoring opportunity and just try and find the back of the net. So you've got a tough game coming up this Sunday. You've got uh, Glasgow City. However, off the back of your win, that confidence, as we've said, you, you are. A, uh, an experienced team with a lot of quality in this league. There's there's nothing to fear. Um, and we've seen teams running Glasgow City close. And um, so that usual obviously take take some some confidence out of that and look to work on a game plan that'll uh, play to your strengths and try and expose some of the weaknesses in their side. Yeah, obviously Glasgow City are a, a top side. They have been for, for years now. Um, so they're one that you know you're gonna have to come up to, you're gonna have to work hard and you're gonna have to perform well, you know. If if you don't perform well, then you're you're not gonna get a win. It's it's simple as that, really. Um, so I think you know we've, we're feeling positive. We've we've got a win. You know we've we've scored six goals, which is always it always helps. Um, and I think you know as I say, we, we're gonna need to work hard. We're gonna need to we're gonna need to win battles in all areas of the pitch. We're gonna need to get the ball down and keep it as much as we can because we know as soon as Glasgow City get the ball. They're, they're a threat, they're fast going forward and stuff like that, and they're clinical in front of goal. So we're going to need to do what we can. Um, and, you know, football, anything can happen in football. They could they could turn up and have a bad game and we could have a world day or vice versa. You know, you've just got to take chances and take the opportunities when they come. That's great, Callie. And thanks so much for joining us today. Oh, of course, thank you. And thanks everyone for joining us on SWPL My Story. <laughs>